Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my investing videos. My name is Mark and today I sold my first put option on my strangle. I currently have a strangle and the reason I have a strangle is because I'm always evolving and adjusting my trading strategies accordingly. Uh, sometimes it's good to sell cover calls. Sometimes it's good to do calendar spreads. At the time that I did this strangle, that was a good idea because Twitter had a really good earnings. It went up from $28, $29 all the way up to the low $32 range and I did not know what Twitter was going to do. It had it went up 15%. I didn't know if Twitter was going to keep going up or if it was going to go back down. And so the right thing to do at that time was a strangle. I currently own this call option right here that I bought all the way back on September the 10th. Spent $777. And when Twitter had the good earnings, this call went all the way up to over $1,000. And so I was up really big. And so I decided to buy a put option as a way to keep my profits in case it went back down. Had I would have sold a calendar call, again, I could have rolled it out. I would have made money, but not very much. And so I like to choose strategies that limit my risk, but give me big reward potentials. And so that's why I bought to open the put. And that's this one right here. Where is it at? Right here. I spent $767 for this put. And you can see it's up to $785. And so today... Twitter had a down day. Actually, the whole stock market had a down day. And uh, so I decided to sell to open my first put option here. And let's take a look at that. So here, here it is right here. It expires on the 23rd of November. And notice that I have a call option that expires on the 16th. So the key is I'm making weekly income. Week after week, I'm selling calls. And in this case, now I'm selling puts. So I'm going to do both, right? Depending upon if Twitter is on the high side or if it's on the low side. Well, Twitter is starting to go back down. And so now it's time to start selling puts. So what happens if Twitter goes below $29? I'll tell you what happens. Uh, if you look at my positions here, this put option, this $32 dollar put option is going to go up and let's go ahead and look at how much it's going to go up it's a 32 put option on twitter expires in 2021 january 15 that is two years from now today is november the 12th of 2018 this put option expires january 15 of 2021 that is two years from now 26 months from now so let's take a look at what will happen if twitter goes down to 29 dollars so let's go to twitter here let's pull up the option chain and let's go out to 2021 and that's a $32 put now we're gonna go to option Greeks and we're gonna look up Delta and let's click on put right there let's hit the calculate and let's look at the Delta so that's this put right there that's uh, there right there that's the put and there's the Delta right there and the Delta is minus 48 okay uh, put options have negative deltas because they increase in value as the stock goes down that's why they're negative so every dollar that uh, Twitter goes down it will I will gain $48 on that put option and this Delta will go up as it goes further in the money for example this Delta is a negative 57 so this Delta actually the Delta will go down but for, uh, for purpose of this video make money I say it goes up I'm gonna make more money right so if it goes down 50 cents it'll go up and then it'll go up right and so if we do the math if this goes down from where it is 32 all the way to 29 well 50 times 3 is $1.50 but you can probably add more to that because Delta will increase or decrease however you want to word it and so I'll probably make a couple hundred dollars and the value of this put option right here going back to my positions value of this put option will go up to a thousand dollars okay and that what will happen there is now my call option will be my losing side and my put option will be my winner right so that's one of the things I like about strangles is that when you buy a call and you buy a put simultaneously on the same stock on the same stock you cannot lose on both sides one side is going to beat out the other side and uh, so the way I do it if you if you buy leap calls and you sell 
if you buy leap calls and puts and you sell weekly calls and puts this is a very very good strategy now you see big red numbers here and one of the main reasons why well actually there's two reasons uh, but one of the reasons why you see the red numbers is if you look at my $30 call notice there is a big spread there's a bid of 775 and there's an ask of 905 and so that spread creates what's known as slippage and that slippage is what you see in here there's a lot of slippage there in between the bid and the ask uh, the, but the call is worth somewhere in the middle probably like 840 or 850 somewhere in the middle I could look it up I could go to the option Greeks and look at the theoretical value but it's in, in the middle somewhere so that's one of the reasons why you, you see these big red numbers and the other reason is simply because nobody makes money every single day nobody has green numbers in their account every single day I don't care if you buy and hold stocks or ETFs or mutual funds or if you day trade or whatever you do you're always going to have date some days that you have red numbers and some days you're in the green right today is a red day that my uh, Twitter went down the whole stock market went down there's you know volatility like normal but the thing to look at is the big picture and this is what I see in the big picture okay if we add the premium that I'm making if we it, just this week right just add these two green numbers not even counting these ones up here that have already made the money okay 41 plus 21 62 so let's round it down to 60 that's an average of $30 a week there's 52 weeks in a year so what's 30 times 50 $1,500 right so if I'm making $30 a week I'm gonna make $1,500 a year and this put option this again this long put option that you see my $32 put expires in 2021 so that's 100 weeks right 104 weeks two years actually 106 weeks so if I'm making a uh, $30 a week the big picture tells me I'm gonna make over three thousand dollars okay and the total money spent on this entire position uh, if we do a little bit of uh, go back to look at my transactions again uh, click the view we see I spent seven hundred and seventy seven dollars and then I spent seven hundred and sixty seven dollars that's the put so I spent seven hundred and seventy seven dollars on the thirty dollar call that's the one that expires a year from now and then this put I spent seven hundred and sixty seven dollars so that's about fifteen hundred dollars so if I spent fifteen hundred dollars and this put expires in two years this call expires in a year and I'm able to make thirty dollars a week on average which right now uh, if things keep going as they are uh, it looks like I'm going to do that uh, then I'm going to make three thousand dollars on a fifteen hundred dollar investment and uh, if we go back to my account this money you see here will go up to about five thousand dollars in two years right so that would be pretty good that'd be a 50% return per year if I can keep that up and uh, I certainly plan to keep on adjusting and evolving my option strategies and to me that is critical crucial important that when you are trading stock options it isn't something that you just buy and hold you always have to adjust them based on the movement of the stock price because stock options are speculative uh, securities they are based on movement they make money based on how much a stock moves up or down when you are buying a call or when you are buying a put you are making a bet that your stock is going to go up or down in a given period of time okay so you don't just buy a call you don't invest in stock options right just like you don't invest in a car cars lose value over time you can invest in real estate but you cannot invest in a car because cars lose value the minute that you buy them off the car lot right so there is no such thing as investing in a car and for the same reason you do not invest in stock options because stock options lose value over time you trade stock options okay if you want to be an investor then you can buy a stock you can invest in stocks because stocks don't expire and when you buy a stock you own a share of that company and so you become part investor in that company and the value of your stock is largely determined by the value of the company and when you buy a stock you become a shareholder and you get certain rights as a shareholder but that's not the case with the stock option you don't get any rights as a stock option other than 
the right to buy or sell the stock at a given price in a given period of time so you're always having to adjust and tweak your strategies here so my plan is very simple okay if Twitter goes below $29 then I start rolling down my puts just like I would do on the calls and I'll show you a quick example right here bring up the option chain and suppose right now I if we look at the puts over here on the right side suppose right now I wanted to roll out a $32 put so I would click on that put right there and I would buy to close it put in a one contract like this and put in buy to close and click review order and it would cost me $89 I click the place the order like that and I hit the button I'm not gonna do that just showing you how to roll down uh, and then what I would do I just spent $89 correct and so now what I would do is I would go out to a longer day and I would try to pick a lower strike price and try to collect more than the $89 I'd probably actually close it at 87 because 89 is the ass so let's say 87 and I try to go out to a lower strike price at one of these further out weeks so let's go out let's say two weeks and there you go right there you can go you can go all the way down to $31 and you can get $100 so I would buy to close that $32 put and then I go out two more weeks I'd sell to open a $31 put that's a whole dollar lower and I spend 87 I collect it and I get it 13 more dollars in a credit I get an extra dollar and that's called rolling down it's the same thing you do if you were rolling up calls and that's my simple little plan that if Twitter goes below $29 that would be a happy day for me because this put option right here would be worth over a thousand dollars and I would start rolling down my $29 puts maybe to 28 or 27 if Twitter wanted to go down that far I would be more than happy because any money that I'm losing in my call my $30 call I would be making big time in my put option my $32 put here so uh, that's the skinny of what I'm doing and likewise if Twitter goes back up then I just go back to selling calls just like I've been doing I've already made some money doing that selling weekly calls uh, if we go to October here uh, right here is when I bought the put that was on the 26th and uh, here I bought to close this uh, call for $30 and here I start selling weekly calls so on the 30th I sold a weekly call $35.50 made 20 bucks bought it back for a dollar and then sold another one made $48 bought it back for four dollars now sold this one for $41 and you saw this call options already all the way back down to eight dollars and now I sold to open a put because Twitter had a down day and I could sell these lower strike prices and get decent premium and twenty dollars a week I actually we already averaged it out we added these two together if I'm making thirty dollars a week I'm very happy making three thousand dollars on my on my fifteen hundred dollar investment adding the put and the call together and I'm very happy with the way things are going for me but the key is that I'm always tweaking my option strategies I'm not just sitting here twiddling my thumbs hoping that Twitter goes up you know a million dollars a share and I make money on the strangle itself I am selling weekly calls selling weekly puts and I am going to do this now for the next two years because now I'm doing a strangle so that's it for this video thank you for watching remember to always adjust and evolve your option strategies accordingly and you will make money in the long run if you are an option trader your edge is time and leverage time and leverage is your edge and that's what gives you an advantage over people that don't buy and sell stock options so thank you for watching this video hope to see you in the next video as always if you have any comments feel free to leave in the comments section and have a good day